leader of Yoruba United Nations, Chief Murphy Adebare, has recommended the immediate exile of or exit of any Yoruba that will not be voting Governor Baba Jide Sonwulu in the forthcoming March 11 governorship election. During an interview session with media practitioners, Murphy Adebare made it known that it is an abomination for any Yoruba person not to vote Sonwulu for his second term and that anyone caught doing that should be sacrificed to the gods of the land. Personally, I will go to all local governments in Lagos State before the elections. Any local government or Yoruba that doesn't vote for Sonwulu should be chased out of Lagos. Such people should be sacrificed to the gods of our land. Immediately, we are voting for Sonwulu. It's mandatory. It is our duty and civil right to vote for Sonwulu. Mafia Debari spoke about the involvement of the Igbos in Lagos policies, stating that the tribe has become so comfortable that they vie for huge positions in Lagos. He bemoaned the Igbos for pushing a narrative that Lagos is a no man's land, despite being visitors in the state. He explained that the governorship election should be between Sonwulu and Jide. Adeni Ronjando of PDP because they are two top Yoruba contestants. Continue, Adebari blamed the Lagos state government for making strangers comfortable by allowing them own landed property. He mentioned that voting Sawolu will be a way to preserve the heritage of the Yorubas from strangers who want to forcefully take it. The governorship election should be between Jando and Sonwulu because they are indigenous Yoruba politicians. Come to think of it, Jando will still be the governor of Lagos State later. But right now, let us save our souls from these people. Let us go out there and vote Governor Sonwulu so we can still retain our heritage and culture. What concerns Igbo people with Yoruba politics? Which day have you seen Yorubas adding any inputs in Igbo policies in Igbo land. These are the abominations and such people should be sacrificed to our gods because what concerns them about our politics? I am fighting in my house. What concerns neighbor? We have to identify our boundaries. When Igbo people are calling a Yoruba man, a man's man but can call, call it a Yoruba man, a no man's man but can they survive the attack of yorubas we have made the strangers ego comfortable in lagos and that is why they can have the mind that we own the land together to all yorubas we must make sure we don't make these visitors comfortable anymore these are so they are so comfortable that an ego man will go for the house of representatives in our own land which is an abomination the yorubas have to hold their political weight tight and fizzle house strangers let them know they will live someday they must understand this it is only in lagos we sell our lands to strangers lagos state government should mandate every visitor to be under the lease if you are not yoruba you should not be allowed to own land in lagos giving c of o to these strangers by the government is wrong any c of o giving should be should not be more than 10 years Furthermore, he noted that Yoruba is a rare is a race that fight for unity, but the Igbos fight for territory, which is why they are claiming Lagos is no man's land. He explained that most Igbos made their money from Lagos after benefiting from the hospitality of the land, but are not trying to drag or are not trying to drag ownership of the state with the rightful owners, the Yorubas. We know how the first Igbo man came to Lagos with nothing. Have you seen any Igbo man come to Lagos with money? No, but they take money from the capital of the Yorubas, Lagos State. They took our money to build their southeast, making your visitor so comfortable is dangerous because tomorrow they will tell you they own the house with you. Yoruba is a kind of race that accommodates everybody fight for the unity of Yoruba but the Igbo people fight for territories. They want to collect Lagos by all means and this will not be possible. We cannot leave our children for these people. The governors in the southwest should start working on it now.
we must do something immediately who is this man they said uh, he's a uh, the leader of yoruba united nations his name is chief Murphy adebari in fact eh, i know that a lot of people will have a lot of uh, you know they will have a a response for this man because it's making no sense the question you should be asking yourself why is it that the uh, egos will come to lagos according to you they make money they don't come to lagos with money then why is it that your people are not making money why is it that your people are not a uh, what is in that lagos that your people cannot see themselves and make wealth but other people will come from another place they will make wealth at the end of the day i still want to ask you again why is it that a uh, or so it is only egos in lagos that are making money no egos in onicha where we have a they, where they have a industrial uh companies they are, they are not making money there they are producing things tell me what a uh, yoruba people produce because these are the narratives that you guys have been selling has and they are, you are selling it to the gullibles and again is it only in lagos that you see that a uh, igbo man uh, well, you know that Igbo, Igbo people are wealthy, they are rich. So it's only those who are in Lagos. So if you are not in Lagos, if you are an Igbo man, anywhere in the world, you cannot make it except you come to Lagos. So you are telling me that it's only in Lagos that they make so much money. They don't make money outside. Go and check Igbos everywhere they, they, they are. They are all over the place because they have the ability to move. You people don't, you don't even, you don't travel. That is why you see, you don't see what is happening. When you, the, 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 majority number of the of your people you don't even go anywhere and the question i'm asking why is it that you guys are not making such money in your own land if if, if it is that easy if you think that a lagos is what is making them to make their wealth and also why are you are they selling land why are they selling land you you think uh, it is only your own tribe that can be that can stay inside the in, in your own community we don't have your bus all over the place that's to tell you that there's something special about the eagles because if the reason why of course we know say we know that yoruba uh, lagos is a yoruba land and now many people are coming out to tell you that uh, it is uh, they are the one that formed the lagos echo they say echo now waiting now being now yoruba name but let's even leave that the reason why people are they are saying that is because of the way this kind of character and i'm even I'm not even. I will not be surprised because even the deputy governor Hamzat, the one that calls himself a doctor, he says he says more than this. He says more than this. It is only some people that I even see that uh, is where is well cultured. But when you talk about Tinubu himself, he does not even have own training. I'm able to say it. You can see him all over the place. He's the one. He's the only candidate that has been abusing everybody. Every everything he sees, he abuses. This man that I even think that he should be more responsible. I don't know the kind of doctorate degree he has, whether academic doctor or the medical doctor that is tied to. He talks like this man that calls himself the leader of Yoruba United Nations. You can imagine, these are the things that will make the people to tell you that uh, Lagos is a no man's land. How was Lagos built in the first place? The same thing that was lying to everybody that he built Lagos. And people said, no, you can't tell us you built Lagos because Lagos was a capital former was the capital of uh, nigeria and all the resources gotten from other places were used to build lagos and we are talking of egos before tinubu even uh, before he became let's even go let us even go in in details before he became governor in lagos egos were, were already there nobody ever said anything but the same tinubu i believe the same tinubu is the one who is bringing this a uh, division because he wants to take glory for himself. Can a Lagosian go to Ocean State or go to a uh, even a Bekuta here, Ugu State here, to go and be claiming a uh, ownership, or go to a Lagosian go to uh, what is it called Ondo or Ikiti? But the same, if if you want to tell me that you are in the same territory, they cannot do that. And Ikiti and Ikiti man cannot go to Osho or cannot go to Oyo and be claiming. Eh, eh, uh, uh, be whatever. But Tinubu came all the way from Oshun, but you have forgotten that even Tinubu himself is not a Lagosian. Go and ask Bode George. So, all these uh, nonsense things that you guys are talking, and Tinubu brought this division, and that is why you see people they say, Okay, if that is what you want to say, then Lagos is a no man's land. 
I know I just know that they are just saying that if any Igbo is saying that a Lagos a Lagos is a no man's land, no, they are just saying it because they should not they can't even mean it. But all this your character and whatever. If you have enough, why are you selling land? Why are your people selling land? You think uh, we tax the Igbos because these are the things you are talking about that if you give them C C or four, you think we tax the Igbos, you'll be able to thrive. Why is it that your people cannot do the same business if it is if it is that easy? Go and check Igbos all over the place. In Nigeria, even outside Nigeria, they are making waves, they are doing their business and they are they are, they are stinkily rich. So why is it that uh, Yoruba people cannot go outside their domain to go and make work? Even in their own place, they cannot make work. The reason why we are talking like this is because of what you are bringing. If you bring it this way, we'll give it back to you that way. Ordinarily, I don't, I don't, I don't see Yoruba people uh, behaving in this manner. But be, be, since the images of Tinubu in that Lagos, that is when we started seeing all these things. And he's even doing that because he was trying to use that because he himself is not a Lagosian. He was just using that one to bring himself, you know, to make you people, you, you call yourself negotiations, to make you people not to feel that, oh, this person is coming from Ojo and he's coming to take uh, the territory from us. And that is the reason why he's bringing this division between the negotiations and the Yorubas. Of course, the Igbos know that uh, that place is not a uh, Yorubas. Yeah, Lagos is not a, uh, is an Igbo, it's not an Igbo land. It's a Yoruba uh, territory. So when you say, oh, you try to curry, you want to try to curry favor to your side, you would say Jando. So what of a uh, gladiable? So gladiable. That is the same narrative you people are, are, are pushing. You are telling us that a uh, Jando is a Lagosian, but it is not the right time. No. Why should people vote for Tonwulu, not a uh, Jando? You say they should. They will go and put them. Uh, they, they, they should sacrifice any Yoruba person. No, go and do that now. You have to go to the local government and look at. Is this not tyranny? If you know it's a democracy, if you if your people believe, if they believe in you, I don't see I see no reason why you should be telling them who to vote or who not to vote. If Songolu has done well, if Tinubu had done well in Lagos, the kind of disgrace he got in the presidential, he will not get it. And you know that they even rigged that election. That was not the actual figure will be got in that Lagos. With all the campaign, with all the Bobo hero. When people were saying that you were forcing people to come and campaign for Tinubu. You say, oh, it, it, it was not true. They were trying to justify the the crowd that came for Obi's rally and that of Tinubu. At the end of the day, people said it is not by rally. You know, I didn't even believe it that much. Not until when this result started coming out. So all of those crowds that he gathered or he garnered during campaign, why did they not vote for him? If Sawolu had no way, you they're not born this man way. I, I'm able to say it. To say hey, you any hey, Yoruba, you 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 not fit now. How you go talk like that? So Yoruba people do not know that hey, their own person is doing well. You will not their, their own person is doing well. They will not go and vote for another person. It doesn't work. You think hey, they are they are unreasonable? They are not unreasonable. So you want to force them? Then if it's somebody from Igbo extraction that is saying this now, you begin to talk. Hey, see them more. Oh, they are by God. What do we call these statements made by this man that calls himself Yoruba? The leader of Yoruba United Nations. He's even he's a chief. Let's see how it goes. He wants to go and he, he wants to force them to vote for who. So guys, I don't want to talk much because these guys they, they are terrible people. They are terrible people. They will create all this nonsense once they are being when they give it back to them, they will not be crying. You know, hey, these people are abusive. When you say this kind of a thing, you expect them to now people to not clap for you. Oh, you have really made a good point. These are the things that you do to Igbos. When they reply you, they will give you in double. You will not be shouting. You will be, be forming victim. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.